In this animation, we will look at the ADO object model and its different objects. Active Data Objects, or ADO, is an application-level programming interface used to access data from a variety of data sources. ADO is built on top of OLEDB, an API used to access any type of data. OLEDB is designed for access to non-relational as well as relational data sources such as SQL Server. ADO contains seven types of objects. Some objects are contained within collections of other similar objects. An important ADO object is the connection object. The connection object represents a unique session with a data source. A connection object can be used to send multiple commands or retrieve several record sets all through the same connection. The record set object represents a set of items retrieved from a data store. These items are often retrieved from a database table or as a result of an executed command on the data store. Calling the open method of the object populates a record set object. The open method configures the record set by specifying its connection, its cursor and lock types, as well as the command and command type that is used to generate the record set. For example, a command type may include an SQL statement or a stored procedure, or it may be a custom command that only the data store understands. A record set object contains properties and methods that are familiar to database developers. For example, there are properties to test for the beginning and end of the record set, as well as methods to move within the record set. The fields collection is associated with the record set object and contains field objects, where each object represents a column of data in the record set. The value property of a field object is used to access or modify a column value for the current record of the record set. The ADO command object allows you to issue commands to the data store. They are often query strings or names of stored procedures but can be any statement that the underlying data source understands. Command objects often return a record set. A command object can have a set of parameters. The ADO parameters collection contains one or more parameter objects and is associated with a command object. This collection provides parameter information for a stored procedure or a parameterized query specified in the command object. This command object can then be reused with new parameters being specified for each use of the command. Any operation involving ADO objects can generate one or more errors. If an error occurs, an error object is created and placed in the errors collection. This collection is always associated with a connection object. After an ADO operation, the application can check for any errors by iterating through the errors collection. An individual error object can be interrogated by accessing its description and number properties. In this animation, we have seen how the ADO object model, through its various data objects, can be used to simplify programming access to a variety of data sources.